Okay. So let's start by introducing ourselves. Can you hear us now, everybody? Uh, it is a bit soft. Okay. Um, now let's start by introducing ourselves first. Uh, I'm Angelos. I'm 18 years old soon. Uh, going to go and in third education soon. Uh, higher education. Nefeli and Kieran. Hello, I'm Miraclis. I am 15 years old. And uh, looking forward for this conversation. <laughs> um. I'm Nathalie, I'm 16. I'm in, I'm almost finished with school. And yeah, I'm also looking forward for this. <laughs> and you? Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Can you hear us? Yes, yes. Uh, do you, was that a question? The question was, and you? Because some of the names are difficult to pronounce. So I would like to hear them once. Ah, so if anybody would like to introduce themselves and probably where they connect in from. I'm Osse, and I'm connecting from Sweden, so I'm looking forward to this. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We also forgot to mention that we are from Greece. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Corfu. So, does anybody else want to introduce himself, herself? Hello, I'm Italia. I'm Italia, and I'm connecting from Belgium. Looking forward for all exchanges. So I'll start with how we came into this conference. Um, so I'm part of the Spring Academy which is an organization that is planning to change education for everyone in Greece. Uh, and I've been a member and a participant since I don't even remember. <laughs> and these two guys are my childhood friends who have been uh, participating in many of the events and have quite a lot of experience on democratic and agile education. And do you want to add anything? No, I can't resist. <laughs> okay. So, should we start? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Uh, the discussion we're gonna have it's about um, higher education in Greece actually and what it is to us, how we see it, and what options do we have and what would be the perfect higher education for us. Okay, so higher education in Greece, from my part of view, is actually it's between school and work. It's not really like a thing that you will you will get um, a, a close to the 
of Namasasu to expand your, your knowledge. It's not something that you, you will expand your knowledge on. It's more of like a stage between school and work to get a job. Um, yeah, you haven't got many opportunities to, to expand your knowledge on a specific thing or an art or something like that with higher education in Greece. Yeah. Mm. Um, I agree with Angelos and Kaya. What was that supposed to come on? With Angelos. And for me, higher education is, in general, it's some place or something you do to find out more about how you can learn to um, make your dreams come true, basically. And well, higher education in Greece for me is not useless, but close. Because <laughs> it's very restricted, uh, not um, Gilea? Not much variety. Not much variety. Uh, a, lot, a lot of the teachers aren't uh, actually teaching. But in general, education in Greece is a bit weird. We will get into that later. Uh, there's always good teachers and good um, the ones that want to help them. yeah really want, with interest to yeah. students no with interest with uh in general good teachers but usually the variety isn't or they're just working to no, they're just there to get paid or they're just there to get all of their uh anger out on the children <laughs> and the youth. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we could, um, I want to try and find a better way to explain what higher education is uh, here like in Greece. Um, for me, it's uh, mostly like um, pa paramelimeni. Paramelimeni. <laughs> Sir, we're bilingual and we have very many problems with <laughs> with uh, paramelimeni. Two languages. Something that hasn't been taken care of. Yes, it um, dilapidated. Dilapidated. It's dilapidated. Um, old fashioned. Yes, yes, quite old fashioned. Um, and uh, as times have changed, um, the education uh, has remained uh, as it was maybe 50 years ago. Uh, I would say it's like a, a door into a system which I personally, personally uh, do not want to support and uh, do not find uh, ethically right to support. Um, and that's uh, basically one of the reasons I'm uh, taking part in this meeting, because I'm open to suggestions and uh, uh, other ways of uh, educating myself and uh, people like mine that with similar um, beliefs and ideas. <laughs> so, 
I would also like to hear if uh, anybody from you wants to to share uh, their point of view on maybe education. where they're from, how is uh, education and their experience from education in their country. Um, yeah. I can go. So I'm Marie. I'm from California. Um, right now, I kind of, um, so I'm 18. When I was looking for colleges, I wasn't really happy with the ones that um, uh, were around. Um, and that actually started during the pandemic is when I realized I didn't really want to go to a typical four-year university and uh, get a bunch of student debt and just start my life like that. Um, so I was looking at international schools. Um, there's a school in the Netherlands that I am a fan of that does a lot of experimental learning um, because that's how I personally grew up. And that's kind of how one of the ways I learned best. Um, and um, I actually decided I'm currently in a study abroad program. Um, yeah, so it's my first year of college and I spent last semester in London and this semester in Costa Rica. Um, and just taking classes, our professors come with us. And um, it's like so different, but I've also learned so much. And I'm just really, really incredibly grateful for uh, the opportunity. Um, I know it's not typical uh, for college to start this way, um, but it is like an alternate um, that I feel really fortunate to have. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody else want to share? So, no. we could move forward. Yeah. I can. Can I share? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just want to pick up you guys, like, uh, like salute to you guys, and pick up for 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 having the questions and 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 choosing not to do things the normal way. Uh, it's very 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 admirable and powerful uh, for you guys as young people to be to be changing the game. Uh, I myself, I also worked out the varsity experiment, but I spent three years uh, in varsity higher education and it's after making a lot of friends that I decided to walk out uh, and the most valuable thing for me I made in the institution is not uh, education but relationships so yeah big up big up big up and yeah our our system here in South Africa I'm connecting from South Africa it's absolutely horrible and it says a similar thing to what Maria said with regard to Mary said with regard to debt uh, I, I made a choice not to be in debt and not to put my mama in debt uh, that's why one of the reasons also why I walked out mm. thank you for sharing <laughs> maybe you should uh, say because you're closer to uh, that age uh, maybe some ideas about what you think you're doing and uh, ah. Ah. yeah well uh, i'm finishing school in about two or three months so higher education is something that i need to look into it and find out about things that um, are going to be interesting for me. Um, so far, I haven't found anything because, as I said earlier on, I don't see it like a place that you will expand your knowledge. I see it more as a place that you will have to spend for the five years, six years, learn something and then go and work on the stuff that you've already um, been taught. So, yeah, the point of what I'm trying to say is I haven't found anything that would be interesting enough for me in order to study it. And 
I don't know, I'm open to ideas or um, choices that I could have. Yeah. <laughs> the I, ideal, it would be if I could um, find something that, that could teach me things that I would use in my everyday life. Mostly not only something that I could um, make a career in. Like things about the earth, things about mechanical, probably practical things, yeah. That would be useful to me in my everyday life and helpful. Mm. Mm. No. Have you heard of Workaway? Sorry? Have you heard of Workaway? What? It's called Workaway. It's um, basically you can go and volunteer in like different countries. Um, yeah countries um, and usually they will feed and house you and you just volunteer your time and then you can like learn from them they have a lot of earth related ones they uh they have a lot um so you can pretty much find any interest in most countries um and you can say how long you like want to be there for and that's kind of one of my plans for the next year of like doing work aways learning from people um and seeing the world, I guess. Yes, thank you for your suggestion. Yeah, I will work on it. You will remember it? No, I will remember it. Look into it. I don't know you guys what is the ideal higher education. The ideal, the ideal for, for you. Me. Yeah. Okay. So then go. Yeah. Uh, like, what would you be happy with uh, if third education was something? What would you be happy with? Third education. Is Higher good. education. <laughs> uh, ideal higher education for me would be somewhere where I can have the people that I want to be with, like my friends, my family, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Uh, and be able, all of us, to be able to learn what we want to learn, when we want to learn it. And also, not having to prove on a piece of paper things you that would. you've learned for 12 years that make absolute no sense. Absolutely no sense. And because in Greece, to get into a university without basically paying, uh, you have to give an exam at the end of the last year, which Kyle is going to mm -hmm. take. Mm -hmm. And based on, based on what you've learned, basically, but it's not The system useful. decides if you can no. get. And that's the way the system decides how many points you will get. And with those, and um, Ananuka, Depending on the points, there's specific places you can go. And learn specific things. And, yeah. Um, and that's, and even the, um, you might be able to go somewhere, you might get where into where you want to. Uh, where you want to learn about the, the studies. You might, yeah, you might get into the studies you want to learn, but you might be sent to a place where you don't want to go. To a city in the to, other side yeah, of the yeah. country. Yeah, so you don't, you don't choose, basically. You just try to prove them that you're worth it, and then they just... It's like a competition, the exams that you're talking no. about. Yeah. It's like a competition that you gather up points, basically. Yeah. And depends on how much points you gather, you get. It depends more, on what university you they will send you to. Yeah. yeah. So the ideal for me was to not have 
all this competition for something which is basic needs. And to be able to do it where you want, with who you want, whoever you want, uh, whenever you want, and for it to for you to be qualified for it. Are oh, you qualified? Get qualifications. From no, it. to get qualifications from it that will help you in, after you finish your studies to find a job and get get something from it. Um, because the, the whole Greek system is completely mixed up. Like sometimes qualifications from other countries don't, um, they, they don't count here. So like, even if you have like, um, masters. even if you have mastered something and, and it's something that in Greece doesn't count, you're basically in the papers and all the job um, applications applications won't count you as a master. They won't count it as no. if you never as if you've never done anything. No, in the subject. Which is very annoying. Do you have a question? No, and what's uh, later? Unfair. 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 Yeah. Because you spend years of your life training for something that you like, where you want to. And it cannot be acknowledged in the context. Yeah, like, yeah. Anyway. Disappointing as no. well. No, disappointing, unfair, all of that. Uh, so yeah, basically, in fewer words, my ideal higher education is that I can learn what I want, where I want, with whoever I want, get qualifications for it, and be able to use the qualificate quali that wherever I want. You've got an idea about higher education. How you would like it to be. The ideal higher education for me. Um, would be one that um, uh, that kids actually get educated, first of all. Um, uh, not educated in such specific things like maths or history, but uh, educated uh, about how important education is. Um, and uh, on, uh, stuff that will really be helpful for their lives. Not um, like, like uh, gardening or um, building. Or uh, how to to use medicine right and uh, have their own medicines. So they, I see education right now as a a test. They like to for people to see if you're worthy of uh, getting into a society or not. Uh, I would like education to be more like um, a place that gets you ready to be helpful to that society. That's what I, ideal education would be for me. Does anybody want to add anything? <laughs> no? No, I don't think so. Okay. so can... I think I think I think maybe. So you guys never heard. The invitation is if 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 you had to like express or think about an ideal education, what would it look like and what would it be like? So uh, we're inviting questions on your ideal. Uh, education. I think 
Και παρέλαβε την ερώτηση στου άλλου γιατί δεν ακούστηκε. Α, οκ. So, what about the next one? Mm -hmm. so the, the next in line question is what, um, what choices do we have and what is higher education here like? And we, wanna, we said a little bit about it, but we want to elaborate on it and talk about it. And I think after this question, we can open the panel to everyone. And whoever wants to add, ask, or anything, feel free. So. <laughs> mm, well, what is higher education here? Yeah, what, it, what choices do we have? Okay. Not, not only here, but what? Uh, in general, what choices? In general? Well, you could go give exams and yeah, you could give exams and then go into a university in Greece, at the Mosio. Public? Public university. You don't, it's not like a college, you don't pay the public universities in Greece. And study something that you like, hopefully something that you like and Finish the university, get a job based on the on the degree you get out of the university that the university gives you. Um, if you're lucky enough to have good teachers. No. The other option that you have is get into a college, either in Greece or somewhere in the European Union, or maybe whatever in the world actually, a college. But that requires money and Someone has to pay for it. It's not always easy to find someone to pay for it. Um, that's the options that I see in front of me. Well, there are more fair. options, yes. I haven't looked up to it. Looked into it now. Um, you could possibly find a job based on something that you would like to, to learn. But that's difficult without a degree here in Greece. Most of the times, yeah. Unless you want to be a waiter for the rest of your life. <laughs> no, not like a waiter, like you could work in a garage, you could work yeah, I know. in a tutorial, yeah. you could work. There are some specific jobs that you could do without a degree. studying. No. But the more... I don't know. Uh, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like the the jobs that you could do are more uh, like side jobs. No, jobs you would like, do for survive, no. Not something that you that is really creative or. It, I mean, they they are still. I mean, uh, everything is creative. No, but it's. I don't know how to separate them. One of them is the ones you can get without a job is like waitressing, um, uh, working in the garage, uh, car wash, um, stuff like that. And the things that you need a degree for is the other things like architecture, economics, blah, 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 blah. So it's a bit- it's unbalanced. Um, yeah, it's completely unbalanced actually. But basically, all the well-paid jobs uh, need a degree. Need a degree. So it's the, the system is a bit like pushing you into studying more <laughs> until there's no brain cells left. Okay. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, what options do you see to you see in front of you? In two years' time, maybe from now? Yeah, I'm quite young now, so I I don't really think about it. But um, 
I've, I think I've already explained what what uh, the ideal uh, thing for me would be. Uh, Talking about what we do have. What options do you what have? What choices we do have. What could you do <clears throat> after you finish school? Yes, I haven't really thought about it. Yes. I forgot to add that what you also said before that there are more options. They are also schools that are not that aren't public but are agile are not uh it's not a state school that are that might be more agile to what you want to learn. There are places where you can get scholarships and things like that or exchanges like you can go somewhere and let's say you want to learn about the earth and gardening so you go somewhere and garden for someone's and help someone garden. with his garden yeah and you learn how to garden and you also yeah but the way that the there's a system exchange. works in Greece is that gardener will not be able to yeah. Um, yeah. qualify you. Yeah, but in other places, you do get qualified with things like this. But in Greece, you don't, and that's the subject yeah. of the discussion, so... No, the choices aren't only in Greece. No. But yeah, we want to be more specific into the Greece thing, because about the rest, most probably you know. Uh, so yeah. Does anybody want to ask anything? Add anything? I have a question. Maybe I missed it because I came in late. But how old are you guys? And like, where in your stage are you at for education? Uh, eighteen. No. Sixteen, fifteen. So, Kyle is finishing this year in a couple of months. Mm -hmm. I have this year and one more, and Kieran has this three year. years. Yeah, three, two and a half years more. So, <laughs> and are all of you kind of looking to stay within Greece? Hmm. Sorry. If we're thinking about staying in Greece. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. It would be a good idea if we could um, get out of Greece and start finding things, other things, other things in the world. Me and Kyle are from, Greece. from we have half, Scot half Greek and half Scot Scottish. So um, we have quite some privileges. Uh, and uh, a wider um, wider uh, field of opportunities to choose about what we're going to do after school. Yeah, same for me. <laughs> Not half Scottish, but I have well, I also have um, more extended what he said anyway. <laughs> Extended field of options. And that one. Uh, I have I've been through phases like I want to stay, I don't want to stay. I want to stay, I don't want to stay. Uh, I don't really like leaving like my nest. So if I do leave, it's going to be hard. Um. What I want to study, I can study in Greece, and it's, it's most probably I will have good teachers, and it's also something that I can kind of like teach myself if I don't have good teachers. Um, it's uh, interior design, so it's, I don't know, usually in those sections that are more artsy, uh, we have 
better teachers. Um, not many, but uh, so yeah, I if I don't change my mind and what I want to do, I think I might. Uh, I don't know about leaving Greece, but leaving Corfu for sure. It would be nice if at some point after school I could travel around the world, learn things, things about the world, about cultures, about its country's history and whatnot. So from that perspective, yes, I would leave Greece to travel around the world. But about education, I don't know right now if I would, because um, I've made a life here in Corfu. I know I've got my friends here, I've got family, I've got people I know, I know the place and it would be, it would be difficult to live right away after I finish school um, in a new different environment, different city. I would need a, a year or so to get um, familiar with the idea of, get, uh, of getting unsettled. Mm. I agree. I mean, again, sorry if I missed this, but what are you each want to study? What? Sorry, what? Um, what do you each want to study? I know you said interior design, but what about everyone else? What, I cannot, what I cannot do you, what do they want to study? study? Oh, what do I want to study? I don't know. I really don't know. I haven't got um, something that I would like to study and, and I get a job after I study. And I haven't found something that I could study and help me without um, being necessary to start working on it after I finish studying. So I'm in a, in a difficult place right now. Choice wise, I need to make a choice. I don't know either, but uh, uh, most of kids at this age, uh, we get quite pressure, pressurized by uh, our school environment. And, oh, most uh, of the times. Uh, and our parents as well, uh, about making a choice uh, quickly and uh, deciding the rest of the life. A good one. But, uh, but from the way I see it, I do not know uh, what is a good choice for me or what I would actually like to uh, to study. And I think I, I've got some time to think about it still and uh, choose wisely. <laughs> and keep in mind that you might figure out in a year or two, and then two months before you go to give the exams, you change your mind. Yes, okay. Uh, that, that also happens. Also, uh, even in while you're studying, <laughs> I do not, uh, I'm not going to study something just, uh, just to have a base uh, and uh, a secure way of making money. I, I will study something because uh, I like it and because I like learning about it and uh, find it interesting. Uh, I don't think it's uh, um, you just study so that uh, you can find a job. I, that's mostly what happens with uh, most kids. Yeah, they pick a job that will just bring good money, not something that... That makes them happy. Yeah, and that's why a lot of working people are miserable in Greece. <laughs> so.
Does what it, would you like to study? Interior design. Not tell it to me. Hmm? Not tell it to me. They are. Actually, I've already told them. Okay. <laughs> in Greece or? In... I don't know yet. For sure out of Corfu, because there's nowhere to study here. Mm -hmm. But I said that I'm 50-50, I don't know. 50-50 what? 50-50, leaving, not leaving. Okay. Okay. Does um, anybody else have any other questions or anything? Yeah, yeah I'm, we're, 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 actually, we're this asking time. everyone, you're just not answering. Yeah. <laughs> There's more people. There's Nona, Amir, my grandma. And there's more over here. I, ah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have a question. Uh, how do the adults in your life feel about your decisions and where you guys at with regard to your feelings about uh, the education system and yeah. How do these adults or adults in general? The, the, those adults, those adults. <laughs> ah, I think they fully support, no? Yes. <laughs> they're, they're like, woohoo! <laughs> Um, Beautiful. Yeah, but adults in general are <clears throat> mostly very strict about this. Like, like very, especially in Corfu, a lot of parents and adults in general are way back in time. Like, you need to study something. Yeah, you need, you need to be a doctor, you need to be a lawyer, you need to be something of that you have to find a wife you have to have kids no 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 it's true uh, so a lot of parents don't like the idea of actually doing what you like and not following the cultural rules so a lot of people hear democratic education or agile learning and they have 500 hard attacks like <laughs> literally like there's people who won't let their kids do, what they, do want. what they want to do basically just because they have learned in a specific way and they have learned that they must get their kids and the next generations into this way and because of this mindset more or less the population here hasn't changed at all <laughs> does anybody else have questions or do you want to say anything what i said I have a question. Go for it. Hi. Um, sorry, I woke up late this morning. It's Chicago. I'm in Chicago, and it's super early for me. Um, but I'm glad to be here and just to um, listen to the, to the three of you. I'm an educator, a college educator here. So, um, and I try to do the best I can. Um, you know, educating in in a system that's frankly toxic, you know, um, for I think probably most people. Um, but I'm just wondering, you know, if you were a teacher, if you had, um, if you were just placed in the three of you were in a situation where you can actually, um, uh, you know, create a classroom, what are some of the things that you would change? I mean, I, I heard from your 
your perspective as a student, but what would you change um, within the system that you have now, um, you know, if you were, if you were the teacher? Okay, I would, yeah, for first, if I was a teacher in a classroom, yeah. um, I would change the way that I would teach. It wouldn't be, I am, there would be no hierarchy in the classroom. Uh, everybody would be equal to exchange um, their thoughts and uh, um, knowledge on the subject they might I would be teaching um, and I would make it more fun, more enjoyable to listen and participate. So, and if it's more enjoyable and interesting, then the students would pay more attention and would like it more and they would like, they will also like the subject that I'm teaching. I understand it. I will understand it easily. Is your name, um, how do you pronounce your name? Um, Angelos. Oh, uh, Angelos, okay. So Angelos, uh, could you say more about the hierarchy? What are you, what are you talking yeah. about? In the classroom, there's usually the teacher that comes in and says, be quiet, don't talk, stop oh, making. Between the teacher and yeah. The teacher decides who talks, when they talk, when they go to the toilet, when they eat, no. when they drink water, when they everything. And so it's like we, we sit in a in a chair and listening to a lecture that he says, which is the the lesson. You want to call it that way. Um yeah, you it's not it's not an environment that you can learn in, from my perspective. Under those circumstances, it's not easy to learn something. So speaking of chairs, the sitting in chairs, has it been a little easy, um, in some ways uh, um, beneficial to you? Uh, Zooming your classes? I, I imagine in Greece, you were Zooming classes too? like the rest of the world right now it doesn't have to if be now if we're i mean if we're doing classes from zoom right now i'm sorry i got i didn't understand exactly what you said are you saying that are you asking if we're doing classes from zoom yeah right no no right now no we, ne we never actually used Zoom, we used another platform. It was an online platform in ways. Yeah. Um, and we did that a year ago. For a couple of months, didn't work out, <laughs> I think. It was a disaster. No, a disaster, because the platform wasn't good enough. The teachers, most of the teachers are very, not old, but in an age where you can't really. Um, Get understand how to understand how things. to work it out and how to make it actually work. Or some people couldn't even find out how to get in. And um, there was also you you had the opportunity to turn off your camera and walk away. Yeah, you could and just pretend you were there. Yeah. Or your connection might not be good or something yeah, like that. They were, so it wasn't working, it wasn't like you could just say oh i don't have internet and just not join the whole day and yeah i hate <laughs> to say that <laughs> i mean it's good for us but we don't learn that way yeah but we don't learn it's not what's supposed to happen yeah yeah so um i would love to hear from the the, the rest of the nefali and um how do you pronounce Iraq, please. what Iraklis. Iraklis? Yes, yes. Hercules. Yes. Hercules in English. Ah, okay, right. Uh, what's what's the question again? What would you do if you if you were a teacher in a classroom? What things uh, would you change? 
But what Kyle said already. Now that's how you don't like Kyle then. Um, and. I haven't seen anything no. What? What? Remember what I said, if you want to change anything. No, no, I agree know. with you. Plus, I would completely throw away the Greek uh, punishing system in schools. Because it's useless, it just traumatizes kids. If and there's no, sorry for interrupting, but if there's no hierarchy in the classroom, you won't there will be no punishment. Yeah. Uh, maybe the classroom doesn't have hierarchy, but the school does. This is a I mean, look, so the, the punishing system in Greece and schools is it's emotionally traumatizing and doesn't work, just makes things worse and all of that. And even if in the classroom I wasn't using hierarchy and changed the way of education in something more interesting, the school in general wouldn't have changed. So I would not use the Greek uh, punishing system and also try to help the kids from being punished by others for no reason, or even with having reason, but being punished in the wrong way. Uh, like there, there's so many examples that are completely dumb and frustrating. Like literally, um, I'll give you a quick example. Uh, confiscate. 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 So in my old school, uh, I had my diary confiscated because I was writing in a class and not participating, which is illegal to confiscate personal items because in the diary I wrote everything. And uh, I, I was the kid with all the rules underneath my desk. So every, every time, and also I knew a lot of them by heart. So every time a teacher did something that wasn't in the legal or that wasn't right, I would be the one pointing them out. And um, so I pointed out the teacher and uh, she made fun of me, told me that I should go and be a lawyer. <laughs> and and uh, not only she confiscated my diary and kept it for two or three days, she read it with other teachers oh, wow. and showed it to them. And uh, when I asked, when I went to the principal, no, I did not know again. Principal, vice principal, vice principal to uh, with her to ask for it back after two days, and they both laughed at me, and I got it back the next day because mom came up, <laughs> came to the school and just basically ripped them off uh, mama style uh yeah i have many examples if you want to hear them we don't have enough time though well, we don't have any time mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> But if you want to find out more about Greek education, contact me. So civil rights, like civil rights for students, civil and human rights for students. Yeah. <laughs> but thankfully in my new school, things are way better, way better. Um, I would, sorry, just really quick. I would also add, like, uh, I think you guys kind of mentioned it when you say, like, not a hierarchical system, um, a lot of, like, a collaborative working together environment, a lot of discussion, uh, this idea of a circular uh, 
discussion is kind of um, the way I learn best and then also by like doing it like there's a lot of science that you can learn just by doing it um, that I've just found really valuable a lot of projects really you can turn most concepts into a project and like learn through doing it and then you remember it better remember like why it matters and it's really cool um, and then I also just wanted to say really quick I popped in the chat um, a link the school in the Netherlands I'm looking at is called Maastricht they also do this idea of like um, problem-based learning they give you a problem and you go solve it and you discuss it with a group of peers and they call it like tutorial groups and you go and you like find the answer with your peers so it's a lot um, less of this hierarchical structure you guys are talking about and the the program I actually put in the chat is a university college so it's not in Greece um, so I don't know if that's a barrier for you guys but you basically pick classes based on what you want it's not like you design your own like career path and then you get a bachelor's of something in the end um, so if you're still like exploring you can kind of fine-tune it like I like this subject, this subject, and this subject, and you can kind of pick which one you want to go deeper with, um, just as an option. Thank you. Uh, I think we go. Uh, yeah? Yeah, just, sorry, sorry guys. Uh, the fire is warm here, and I just wanted to bring an awareness to everyone that uh, we are currently at like three minutes over time uh so we're gonna have to like conclude this session within the next two minutes just to make room for the next session uh so yeah if anybody wants to give any closing prompts or, or, or gratitude i myself just want to say a massive shout out once again to you guys to your family uh for the support and the love in doing things differently uh so in our colloquial or a uh, uh, global colloquial tongue pick up pick up pick up yourselves uh, from South Africa. Thank you. Yeah, I also wanted to say thank you so much for just joining and being part of this and sharing your stories. It really does mean so much and um, yeah, just contributes to like this collective field that we're creating um, around the world to, to really create um, different opportunities and different circumstances for young people. Um, so they don't have to get their diaries confiscated, which sounds like a horrible experience. I'm sorry that happened to you. And yeah, so thank you. And I'm really thank glad that I got up at 3.30 this morning to come and be with you. Thank you, guys. Keep fighting. Yeah. Keep fighting. Well, given us the opportunity to have this discussion, conversation all together, thank you for your time and effort and ideas bye-bye <laughs> <laughs> bye-bye have a nice bye -bye. day bye everyone